Hi friends, it's Miss Tina and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to all of my new subscribers and welcome back to all of my friends who have always been here riding along with us. If you haven't joined, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, and you will be getting all of the notifications so that you won't miss an upload. Today's shout out goes to all of my friends in the United States. We're all right here together. Thank you guys for watching. I see you and I appreciate you. Don't forget to like the videos at the end. And if you're ready, we'll jump right into our story. But first, are you tucked in? Good, I'm tucked in too. Let's get into our story. Today's story is called A Most Unusual Day. And it's written by Sidra Mallory. And the illustrations are by E.B. Goodale. A most unusual day. Let's get into it. Usually, Caroline was awake with the birds. Her eyes would fly open and she'd jump into her parents' bed with a morning song for them. but not today. Today, Caroline lay still in her bed with her eyes closed, imagining the day before her. Today would be unusual. Unusual means different, something that doesn't always happen. So she was gonna have a different kind of day. I wonder what was gonna be different about it. Can you guess? That could be right. Let's see. Caroline was usually organized, but not today. In her grandma's rush to catch the bus, she forgot her socks. She forgot her lunchbox. Her feet were sweaty and she had to eat school lunch. Mohammed Jones offered Caroline some of his lunch. You'll need your strength, he advised. That's okay, she said, but it wasn't. Not today. She moved her broccoli across the foam tray and made a broccoli family. A big, tall mother, a slightly shorter father, the daughter, and one more thing. Caroline was usually graceful, but not today. Today, when Miss Oliver asked, what is family? Caroline raised her hand a little too fast, bumping Wendy Walker by mistake on her really, really loose front tooth, just enough to make it fall out. Wendy wasn't mad. Thanks, Caroline, she said, patting her on the knee. I've been waiting for that tooth to fall out. Caroline smiled but she felt slightly strange like the space where Wendy's tooth once was. I wonder what's going on with her today. What's going on with Caroline? Caroline was usually helpful, but not today. Today, she wiped the tables. Well, she tried. Today, she fed the fish well, she tried. She tried to clean up the art center. She really tried. She thought she ought to practice for home. Dad said they'd be needing her help soon. And guess what's going to happen? You must be tired from all of that helping, Caroline, Miss Oliver said. Would you like to come over here and read with us? Caroline was usually calm, but today something kept her tapping her foot, kept her tilting her chair. 
kept her chewing her thumbnail, she kept thinking about what would happen soon. She kept looking at the clock, looking at the door. Something was unusual about today. Because at the end of the day, at dismissal, right when Caroline was unthinkably, inexplicably drawing an airplane on the school wall with her I got caught being good pencil, right when Miss Oliver looked at her and gasped, Caroline! And the bell rang. Should she be drawing on the wall? She's really acting different today, isn't she? Usually, Caroline's parents were calm and collected, but not today. Today, Daddy's glasses were held together with tape. Today, Mommy's socks did not match. They had sleepy eyes and giant smiles. Today, they had a blanket. Today, they had a bundle from far, far away. Today, they had her new baby sister. Did you guess that? I didn't guess that. Not until I saw her playing with the baby doll. With her toes perfectly curled, her eyes perfectly bright, her cry perfectly high, her fingers so strong and so, so small, perfectly tight around Caroline's finger. She has a new baby sister. This baby made everything, every usual thing, unusually new and perfectly right. This baby, her sister, made Caroline's day. your family and that's what was unusual about Caroline's day that's the end of our story a most unusual day I hope you enjoyed the story friends and I'll see you next week bye